Hey, so today we have a little like DIY, very like fly by the seat of our pants kind of project going on. I, I'll flip you around in a second and kind of give you an idea of what I'm trying to do. But I, I didn't plan this farther than like selecting the materials I needed and that's it. And I'll, I'll walk you through in a second. Let me just flip you around. Okay. So this is my fireplace, obviously. Let me see if I can get it focused. There we go. And these two prints are typically up there just like year round. I love them. I love the frames. I think it looks so good with the color of my mantle. But I want something that's just a little bit more Christmassy up there. And then I will show you this. I thrifted this big old mambo jumbo frame from Goodwill. It was $7.99, and actually I don't really mind the art that much in it, and I love the color with the wood. It's just, it's great, but it's not what I'm wanting for my living room. I have a plan for this one, and I think, I think it's going to get hung on this wall right here, but I'm not 100%. So I'm going to prop you guys up on a tripod. I'll kind of walk you through what I've got going on, and then we're just going to cross our fingers and hope for the best. All right, so um, I have those frames that I shared with you, and I wanted to fill them with something a bit more like wintry, something I could leave up all through winter, and I like looked on Etsy forever. I finally found a store. They had a Black Friday sale running. I finally made my mind up. I've been thinking on this for over a month now. Purchase the prints, which are very inexpensive. I think I got three for maybe $5. It's just a digital image. And um, you can enlarge them as big as you want. And then I did some research on engineer prints. So engineer prints are usually used for like floor plans, like architectural, architecture, what? Oh, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but like, you know where they like sketch out and draw what the plans are for a building. Architecture stuff. They print on these big, engineered prints and they they do several other things to them but the quality is usually known to not be that great they usually uh are better suited for black and white pictures but i wanted color and the ones i really loved on etsy had a little bit of color in them so i did some research for color engineer prints and i found that staples does offer them they're not as cheap as your typical like black and white engineer prints they have to use a different kind of paper they're still very inexpensive so i paid kind of hurts to say it but I paid $50 for these prints but I have three images big massive images and if this works out like I'm hoping it will I will have three huge pieces of artwork in my home for $50 so here's the first one it is a sweet little reindeer and there's snowy trees all around him this one I'm hoping to put on the wall not the fire above the fireplace but on a wall where there's like those little benches and then i have this little pine print with snow on it i mean the quality is really great i was very impressed i wasn't expecting it to look as nice as it does it's not like a high-end photographic print you know but it's great you can't get it wet you have to be really careful with it because the ink will come off this is probably my most favorite this cabin <gasps> I love it so much so the cabin's covered in snow and there's a pine behind it with snow I just love that there was an image there's images on these big prints but it's not like a huge statement like it's got a little bit going on but there's a lot of like empty space too with the snow and whatnot which I really liked but here's where things get a little bit tricky so these prints these engineer prints that I ordered they only come in one size but I have three different sized frames that I'm needing to fill. I think that these pictures back there, well, I don't think, but I know they're smaller than this one over here that I showed you. And my prints are gonna be bigger than, um, than what's going in there. The other thing going on is, see this greenery? That garland, um, it, it covers a decent amount of the pictures that are in front of it or that are behind it. So I have to keep that in mind when doing this. Like when selecting a picture, I had to pick something that kind of had some blank space down here at the bottom to work with. Otherwise, it would cover the picture up. Like if I was to put this guy down there, his face would get covered up from the garland and you would just see his antlers. Um, and then I needed to pick two that kind of went well together. So I think I'm going to have to cut these down to make them work in the frames. I don't know. 
And um, I'm not usually one that's like good about measuring and being precise. I, I tend to just like jump in and hope for the best. So that's why I'm saying like, we'll just kind of have to see what happens. Hopefully at the end of this vlog, um, we have seen me transform this place into a winter wonderland with these prints and they look beautiful in the frames, but it could be a complete wash. So, okay, let's cue some music and uh, let's get crafting. Hold up, I am on my way, I'm in motion Let's go to the ocean Yeah, let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas time We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling Or the windows in the rain is pouring It will always be Christmas in my heart But this year I wanna hang out with my friends and family Making angels in the sand you had me Doesn't matter if it's Christmas in my heart Santa's coming to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times oh. Several days later and the project is all done. I'm really happy with how it turned out. It definitely made my living room look cozy and like a winter cabin, which is what I was going for. Now, I'm gonna call this project a success, but I'm gonna add a little ish to the end of that. Success-ish, because there were some hiccups along the way. It took me a lot longer than I thought it was going to because of the whole like working with the frame and not having the perfect size. And I broke one of my frames along the way, which is like heartbreaking heartbreaking broke a frame does that no no um i'll show you what i did and i think down the road it's not gonna really matter hopefully nobody sees it but i love these frames so much i actually might replace the glass if need be but whatever there's art on the wall it's themed for christmas and i can leave it up all winter long which is a double win oh triple win it was cost effective so um let's go take a peek oh, and the sun said it is just getting better on a blanket with the sky Chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling Or the windows in the rain is pouring It will always be Christmas in my heart But this year I wanna hang out with my friends and All right, there you have it. My first school round of engineer printing. They're not perfect. Um, and I broke a frame along the way, but I'm gonna call it a win for my first try. I'm so excited that I did this. I love how they look in my room, and for the cost, you just can't beat it. It was $50 to have all three images printed, but you have to think that that's 50 divided by three, which comes out to roughly $16 per massive, huge print. I mean, geez, I've got three lovely pieces of artwork for $16 each. I call that a good deal. I'll be sure to link down below the store that I purchased from. Um, there's several other vendors on Etsy that offer the same service. And um, I want to hear from you. Is this something that you would do? Have you done this? Let me know down below. We can chat in the comments. I will see you guys in the next Vlogmas video. Be sure to like, and if you haven't yet, click that subscribe button. See you tomorrow. Bye.